Hello students, welcome to Apna College Net YouTube channel. Today's video is all about JOSA 2022 counseling process. In today's video, we will talk about JOSA 2022, the counseling important dates. We will talk about six rounds of JOSA 2022 counseling. We will talk about the business rules which are very much important uh, for you and we will also try to explain you the terms like uh, float, freeze, slide, what do you mean by home state quota, open state quota, what are the factors which will ultimately lead to your admissions in IITs, NITs, GFTIs and IIST. So, watch this video till the end and do ensure that you can do your JOSA 2022 counseling process without any error. If you find any query or any difficulty for JOSA 2022 online counseling process, please feel free to get in touch with Apna College Net team on the phone number right now shown on your screen. For instant reply, you can also WhatsApp us on the same number. Like and subscribe Apna College Net YouTube channel, follow us on our Facebook page Apna College Net and Apna College One Instagram page. The Joint Seat Allocation Authority, JOSA 2022, has been set up by Ministry of Education to manage and regulate the joint seat allocation for admission to 114 institutes for the academic year 2022-23. Now, among these 114 institutes, it includes 23 IITs, 31 NITs, IIEST, Shippur, 26 triple ITs and 33 other government funded technical institutes. Admission to all the academic programs offered by these institutes will be made through a single platform that is JOSA 2022 counseling. Now, who can appear in JOSA 2022 counseling? Candidate who has qualified in JE Advanced 2022, JE Mains Exam 2022 with for BE BTEC, JE Main 2022 B Architecture, and JE Main 2022 B Planning can all register for JOSA counseling 2022. Let us take a look on the schedule of events for JOSA 2022. As notified by the board, September 12, 2022 at Indian Standard Time 10 a.m., the candidate can start his or her registration and choice filling for academic programs under JOSA. Candidates who qualify architecture aptitude test can fill their AAT specific choices starting from September 17, 2022 after declaration of AAT result. 18th September 2022 at 11.30 a.m. we will get to see the display of mock seat allocation 1 based on the choices filled in by the candidates. On September 20th, 2022, again at 10 a.m., there will be the display of mock seat allocation round 2 based on the choices filled in by the candidates. Now, candidates can lock their choices at this point of time. 21st September 2022 at 5 p.m. in the evening, the candidate registration and choice filling for academic programs under JOSA 2022 ends and this is the time where the candidate can lock their choices or otherwise the system will be automatically locking the choices filled in by the candidate in the last saved format. 22nd September 2022, there will be the reconciliation of data, verification and validation of allocated seats. And 23rd September 2022, morning 10, we will get to see the first round of seat allocation report for JOSA 2022. Now, September 23rd, 2022 till September 26th, 2022, 5 p.m., the online reporting process will continue. Now, this online reporting process, I will talk in details in the later part of the video. 
and in this round you have to make the fee payment the documents need to be uploaded and there would be response by the candidate if any query is raised at round 1 27th September 2022 by 5 p.m. the candidate has to respond by the query raised by Josa at round one. 28th September 2022 5 p.m. the round two seat allocation result will be displayed and again on 28th September 2022 till 1st October 2022 by 5 p.m. the candidate needs to do the online reporting comprising of fee payment, document upload and response to the query. 2nd October 2022, 5 p.m. is the last deadline to respond to the query raised in round 2. September 29th till October 2nd, 22 by 5 p.m. If any candidate wants to withdraw the seat or exit from this seat allocation process, round 2 can exercise their choice and withdrawal query response should be addressed during this period also. 3rd October 2022 by 5 p.m. we will get to see the JOSA 2022 online counselling seat allocation result round 3. Now, October 3rd, 2022 till 5 p.m. of 6th October 2022, online reporting, fees payment, document uploading and response by candidate to queries raised by JOSA will be uh, done. Now, October 7th, 2022 by 5 p.m., the candidate has to respond to query. October 5th till October 7th, 2022, 5 p.m., the board is allowing the candidates to initiate the withdrawal of seat or exit from the seat allocation process and thereby respond to the withdrawal query. October 8, 2022, 5 p.m., we will get to see the round 4 seat allocation result next 3 days, 8th October, 9th October and 10th October by 5 p.m. The online reporting round will continue. October 11, 2022, by 5 p.m., the candidate has to respond to the query. October 8th, 2022 till October 11, 2022, this would be the phase where the candidate can initiate if they want to withdraw or exit from the seat allocation process and this is the period where one has to also respond to the withdrawal query. October 12, 2022, 5 p.m. in the evening, we will get to see the round 5 seat allocation result for JOSA Online Counseling 2022. 12th October 2022 till 14th October 2022 that will be the window for the online reporting for the seat allocation uh, round and for the fresh allotees and the 15th October 2022 is the deadline to respond to the query in between 12th October 2022 till October 15th 2022 there would be the initiation of withdrawal of the seat or exit from the seat allocation process if the candidate wish to do so. 16th October 2022, it would be the seat allocation result will come out for JOSA counseling 2022 round 6. Now this 16th October result will also be the final round of seat allocation for IITs. 16th October 2022 and 17th October 2022, the online reporting for fees payment document upload and uh, response by the candidate to the query will be done. And as I told already, this will be the final round for the seat allocation for IIT. 17th October, you get the time to respond to the query. And 16th October 2022 till 18th October 2022 for NIT plus system you can do the initiation of withdrawal of the seat during this period and also answer to the withdrawal query. For NIT plus system only October 19th till October 21st 5 p.m. online payment of partial admission fees will be uh, done and allowed and later on you can also visit csap 2022 website details on institute reporting admission process and special round i will be making a video on that as well so you should uh, like and subscribe to apna college net youtube channel
Now we will look into the business rule for the seat allocation process JOSA Counseling 2022. The seat allocation process follows a strict timeline. The entire process is online and computer operated. No exceptions are possible therefore so candidates are strongly advised to thoroughly acquaint themselves with this business rule. The seat allocation will depend on four factors. Factor 1, the category of the candidate. Factor 2, the position of the candidate in respective rank list. Factor 3, the order of preference of academic programs selected by the candidate. And number 4, the availability of seats in different seat categories or seat quotas for which the candidate is eligible. JOSA 2022 online counseling will be done by only one official website that is JOSA 2022 website josa.nic.in. In addition to the distribution of the program seats based on the category of the candidates, seats of academic programs offered by NITs, IIEST Sippur and PEC Chandigarh are distributed into home state quota and other states quota. Home state quota is only for candidates whose home state or union territory as determined by the state code of eligibility is same as the state or union territory in which the institute is located. Other states quota include all the states and union territories except the home state. Now let us look into what does the freeze, float and slide these three option means. When you choose the option freeze that means that you have accepted the offered seat allocated in JOSA 2022 counseling and it also indicates that you are in content with the allocated academic program and you do not want further to move in further rounds of the seat allocation of JOSA 2022 counseling. You want to retain the same seat. So once you exert this freeze option, you will not be considered in subsequent rounds of JOSA 2022 and your chosen seat shall remain allocated and shall be provisionally confirmed. Now choosing the option float means that you have accepted the offered seat and you are also indicating that if admission to an academic program of higher preference in any institute is offered in the subsequent rounds of seat allocation, you will accept it. Else, you will continue with the currently accepted academic program. Such candidates will be considered in the subsequent rounds of JOSA 2022 counseling. The last option, the third preference is slide. Now, once you choose the option slide, it means that you have accepted the offered seat and you are indicating that if admission to an academic program of higher preference is offered within the same institute in subsequent rounds of seat allocation, you will accept it. Such candidates will also be considered in subsequent rounds of JOSA 2022. In JOSA 2022 counseling, the candidate must register through JE Main 2022 or JE Advanced 2022 application number and password. The filling in choices for JOSA 2022 counseling on the online portal is free of cost. Candidates are not required to pay any fee. Candidates must log their choices on or before the last day of choices filling as discussed in the schedule. A candidate who has been allocated a seat in JOSA 2022 counseling needs to download the initial seat allotment intimation slip. They need to upload the required documents on the JOSA portal and pay the seat acceptance fees. Now the seat acceptance fees will be rupees 15,000 for candidates is belonging to SCST, General PWD, General EWS, OBC, NCL PWD, SC PWD and ST PWD categories. For all other categories, the seat acceptance fees will be 35,000. Now this 15,000 or 35,000 includes 3,000 rupees which is actually the JOSA processing charge. The seat acceptance fee in excluding JOSA processing charges will be adjusted against the admission fee. The acceptance fee for the seat allocated in JOSA 2022 counseling can be paid using UPI, net banking, debit card, credit card or State Bank of India e-chalan. 
that was josa 2022 counseling process now if you find any query or still if you are in a phase like you can't uh, get to know about or detail elaboration you need on a certain part of the counseling process don't hesitate give me a call on the phone number right now shown on your screen you can whatsapp your query also with your name and with your query on this number you can put your query in the comment box as well and like and subscribe apna college net youtube channel do follow us on our facebook and instagram page all the best